go again. I demand more. I want it. I need it. And I'm gonna have it. So, network settings. For reference, this is what happens normally. Um, you've got all your network settings set up. You go to little startup sequence and you get to see flow flashes and it will try and connect. Connected. There you go, that's actually connected already now. You see my network and that's that. So where you go, play your game. But if you change your network settings or it's me in the box, whatever, then what I'll do now is I'll just show you how to change the net the password and network uh, on the dashboard. There's a small switch, a small button that I've added into the dashboard. It's the accessible sort of through a pinhole I imagine when I'm finished. So the idea is that you must power on first and then press the configuration button. Don't press it whilst you're powering it off, otherwise it goes into all sorts of funny modes. So what we'll do is we plug this in like that and then we hold that for two seconds and then let go and then you see that fast pulse and set up on the screen and that's now in setup mode. Also note that the little LED is now permanently on as well that normally goes off during normal operation. So once the screen stops stopped flashing setup mode it actually comes up with the full instructions you need to set this up. I've just switched my tablet on, just hang that down there. Now I'm already connected to my home network S5 hotspot but dashboard has turned up on the Wi-Fi list. If you scan networks you'll get dashboard setup appear as a new network. So if we click on that okay and then enter the password is password. Okay, I'm not gonna make this nice and simple. Okay, and then connect. Alright, and that's it. So now my tablet is connected to the dashboard. It now thinks that it's a router. So I'm going to open up Chrome or whatever your browser is. Okay, and you go HTTP 10.1.1.1, which will come up as dashboard Wi Fi network setup. You are presented with a web page. Pretty simple, nothing much to worry about. Okay, I'm a nice guru with web pages. Now it's picked up the strongest network and pre filled that out already. So, as it happens, you don't need to, I, know, I don't need to fill that out, it depends how many networks you've got. So, if I then enter my password, I'm just going to pause for a minute. Okay, so I've put my network password in. And now all I've got to do is hit confirm. Whereupon you will be set told that your Wi-Fi settings have been saved. Restart the dashboard to connect to the network called S5 Hotspot. Okay, and that's it. That's all you've got to do now is switch it off and on again and it will automatically connect to your network. Okay, so I've just swapped over to filming on the tablet because my phone is my internet it is my home router come internet so it's sat there at the moment covering my password there's no devices connected to my hotspots okay so what I'll do now is I'll just power this up like so okay we'll go through its little sequence and you'll get the two flashes in there uh, and it's already connected it's simple as that and it's appeared on my hotspots list and it's as simple as that 
If I turn the PlayStation on now, the PlayStation will appear as a connected device and then they're on the same network and the dashboard works. There you go. Simple as that. Simply power up, press the tiny little button which will be accessible through a pinhole. Follow the on-screen instructions and away you go. Thanks for watching.